Hi. Hey, Charles. Hi. Hi. How are you all doing? Good. Good to see you. How are you? Yeah. Good to see you again. I just wanted to say, first of all, since I've last seen you, it feels like just yesterday, but I, I wanted to say a huge congratulations. Been renewed uh, for a season two. Um, you know, we're going to be seeing a lot more have your next, uh, next season. Yeah. Um, it just feels like you've really found um, exactly what your show was. You've really hit your audience. And uh, it's so great to see that. So great to see that you're going to have this um, holiday special. What do you think it was? You know, what is some of the feedback that you've been given that your show really hit the audience? The feedback has been pretty outstanding, to be honest with you. You know, like... Um... I'm talking about social media specifically, besides people on the streets or family members and colleagues and friends, you know, everybody like loving it. The, the, the social media feedback has been incredible. I think people appreciated this new reimagining of the show. They appreciated the characters, uh, what we've done with it. Uh, it's a feel good show. You know, it, 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 we tackle serious matters, but at the end it's light and it's relatable and and people, I mean, at least my experience has been so positive and just absolutely awesome to, to hear people say, oh my God, I love the show. Oh my God. I have a, you just, you know something crazy? You know, Gloria Stefan, right? Mm -hmm. You know, Gloria mm -hmm. Stefan, Gloria is like, I mean, all over the, not all over the world. And for Latinos, she's like an icon, you know, Gloria and Emilio Stefan are huge. So I was in Vegas and she was there and I was walking, I went for an event and I'm walking to the red carpet and she's coming this way. And I've known her for many, many years. She said to me, oh my God, Ross, I'm so hooked on Fantasy Island. I love the show. It's my escape. And I said, oh my God, Gloria, we got a second season. She was jumping. And listen, I said, I died. <laughs> I, mean, I, was like, I was like, Gloria, you watch Fantasy Island. <laughs> I, it made my whole night. I was like, shit. <laughs> so you know what? To me, we made it. We made yeah. it. Guys. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Maybe you should invite her. Yeah, right. You should be a guest. Right. <laughs> you know what? The musical episode that I want to do, I want, I want Gloria as well. Her and Ricky. And Ricky. Oh, I'll, I, I could be, I want to be able to act. I'd be like, uh, uh, I want to be able to act. <laughs> One of the one of the things that I that I find so great about the show is that you know when I was uh, figuring it out the first time uh, till now it feels like you really found uh, the voice of the show. I like how I like how um, self aware it is and how fun um, the slow reveals have been really nice on the show. You know just to just to see where it has been going. How have you felt about that? How have you felt about sort of the slow reveals and how, you know, an audience is coming to it and really sort of understanding? I, I am just pleased. I, I feel like, um, you know, when you're, when you're doing a reboot, there's always this fear of, I hope people will like this. I hope even, you know, the OG fans um, that watched the original will appreciate what we did with this. And, um, like Ross said, it was just really, oh, it was honestly sh not shocking, but it was just so overwhelming, I guess, to see such positive um, reception. And it was also really cool to see after episodes, we would do live tweets and, um, you know, be interactive with everyone as we're watching as they're rolling out the episodes and to see people respond and say things like, oh my gosh, you know, um, my mother was healing of cancer and this really gave the both of us some kind of, um, you know, calmness or peace to our heart watching Ruby or, um, you know, it, whether it had to be with uh, the guests even coming in with their own things being like, oh my gosh, I really felt that, that, that kind of um, gave me some, some peace, you know, walking away with. And so that was what was most rewarding, I think, as we were rolling out to see the impact. Like, I wasn't really expecting such a um, intense visceral response in that kind of way, which was was really, really cool to see the power of TV, but also just fantasy island. And we can make these amazing, magical, beautiful moments, but how else can we go deeper with that? And I didn't realize how deep we really were going when it was hitting people that way, which was um, mind blowing to see. 
Well said, yeah. Um, I, I really, cool. Go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I really enjoyed the, um, the Christmas uh, special. I thought mm -hmm. that it fits so well within your show. I don't know if you had it planned the whole time. It's so nice to see. It feels like it was just summer yesterday. And here yeah. we are at Christmas. You're, you're in with the special. I was just wondering if you could sort of set it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going right. Roz, you want to? Or... Yeah, Roz, go ahead. Set it up. <laughs> are you like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was, yeah, it, it, it's a great way to complete, you know, the, the season. Everybody thought, and listen, we call episode eight the season finale, but to me, this is the real season finale. You know, it's like everything comes full circle. It's when people get to understand that these three characters are now one, and they're going to go into this incredible journey for season two and upcoming seasons, God willing. So, and, and, it, and, it's, and it's funny and like everybody loves a Christmas movie, you know, like they're huge nowadays. Every single network, every streamer one, they're doing, they're getting into the Christmas movie business, you know, because I think America and the world need uh, that, that kind of content. Um, everybody appreciates a beautiful Navidad, you know, and, and in typical fantasy island fashion, they were, they, they were, able, they were able to come up with a premise that is just fun and, and lovely, you know, lovely. And this one specifically is more than lovely. It's it's like a movie within a movie and it's providing a guest the fantasy of feeling like she's gonna have a beautiful Christmas that is about love. She lacks unity, she lacks familia. And this little hotel and this little experience that she's about to, to live uh, through um, gives her hope and makes her understand this is what I want for my future, you know, mm -hmm. a simple life full of love and happiness, not all the material things that me and my family uh, can provide for ourselves. We just want to be happy love, no? Mm. Couldn't have said it better myself, Roz. That's, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, the only thing I would add, say is it, it, it'll be really nice to go into second season because with this, like Roz said, it's a full circle with these last, you know, uh, part one, part two of this Christmas uh, special, which is nice. And you get to see the development of how Ruby and Javier and Elena all got along in the beginning episodes, trying to sort each other out, trying to see where everyone is to come to the end and see everyone come together as a family. It'll be so fun to go into the second season, knowing how close everyone is and I don't know, getting to explore um, the relationship between the three of them and navigating the island in a more family centric way of being closer. Now there's less of that wondering who this person is. And, you know, even Ruby's relationship with Elena of like, Ruby just wanted to be her friend so bad. And she just wanted, you know, wanted to be close. And Elena was like, oh. Hey girl, you know, you're going to have to give me some, some time to get used to this because she's very, you know, about the guests and making sure everything's sorted and organized. So there was a lot of um, push and pull in the beginning of that relationship. And now it's really sweet to see that full circle of Ruby understanding exactly who Elena is and um, same likewise and same with Javier. And you get to see these moments between Ruby and Javier as well, which is nice to see oh, wow, like they are really in it together, which is really, uh, it will be fun to, to see, I think, as the fan base to see how that all came together. Although, you know, I think in typical TV fashion, there's going to be some conflict. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be, yeah, situations yeah. that they're very tied. Now they have become family and they have a common good, but they're, and I'm just speaking, this is wishful thinking, you know, for me as an actress, as a character, I'm hoping that we're gonna get exterior forces and things that are gonna come into their lives that is kind of like, oh, you know what I mean? Maybe things are gonna be shaky for a little bit. Until what's that, interesting, that thing what's interesting about that is that when you have family, you seem to get more comfortable to see even more and more of each other. So that's what I mean by season two. It will be really cool to dive into that, yes. knowing that we're close, that you get to see even more sides of every single person because everyone's getting more comfortable. That's right. Yeah. I can't wait to read. I cannot wait to receive those first two drafts. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a, a very happy holidays to all of you. And, Same um, you so much. Cannot wait to see more. Yeah. Thank you. So much. Thank you. <laughs>